Okay, welcome. So we got a simple experiment here to show the effect of electromagnetism. So in this case, an electric current that causes a magnetic field. And it's going to be a small magnetic field, okay? Uh, because we've just got, as you can see, this yellow wire, just a single length of wire. But the principle applies not only to single lengths of wire, but also to coils and all sorts of other things that we've talked about in the lecture class. So just to, to walk you through what we've got here, we've got five volts or thereabouts on the power supply. And those leads come down over here, lead to our breadboard. And so the positive's coming in right there. Comes down here to that lead, which comes up here to our switch. Right now it's open because our LED which you can see there is in series with the switch. That comes down here into this row, go into a nice fat 10 ohm resistor so we don't um, heat it up too much. And uh, fatness being the, associated with the power rating of the thing so it can dissipate lot, lots of heat. And then we've got this long conductor and a little cheap compass. Okay, but we're very light needles, so we should be able to see any deflections pretty easily. And that comes back over here. Don't mind the little blue jumper here, it doesn't do anything. And then that runs this, this one runs right up to the negative, which is that green wire back to the black. Okay, so that's the orientation of the circuit. Let me just grab, grab that thing right out of there. It's triggering my OCD. So, um, Five volts on there, and what we're going to do is we're going to get our compass here, and we're going to put it right over top of our wire. Okay? And you'll notice that the needle itself is, uh, is is pretty tippy. Okay, so it's going to if we don't have it level, it's going to kind of flop over to one side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over a little piece of gray wire here just to prop it up, keep it on the level. And you see that more or less the needle is aligned with the direction of the, um, of the path of the current, right? And what we're expecting here is that the current is going to come from there, right? That's the positive end of things, come along here run down through this thing and then return to the green, okay? So the current is going uh, down the screen in our perspective here. And we can work out from our right-hand rule that if we then grab, and we take our thumb, we point it in the direction of the current, our fingers should wrap in the direction of the magnetic field lines. Oh no, okay, the magnetic field lines, that's what happens with no depth perception looking into the video screen, in the direction of the field lines around the current, okay? So on the top of the wire, we should be getting magnetic field lines to the left. And so when I operate the switch here, hopefully what we'll see is uh, a correspondence to that basic fact, okay? Let's see if I can do this one-handed. There it goes. Just a tiny little deflection. Zoom in. Okay, try it again. So one, two, three. See, tiny deflection to the left. Tiny. One more time. One, two, three. Click. Okay. And then off. So the slight deflection is uh, the magnetic field of the Earth, okay, plus vector wise, right? So a vector addition of that, the Earth's magnetic field, and the magnetic field created by this current. Now, if we, uh, just to, to prove the rule, right, so if the magnetic field lines from this current are, that, that the current is creating, is going to the left over top, okay, that way, well then, when we grab this thing and we move it so that the wire is on top of it, so you need a cameraman with this stuff. All right, so that's pretty close. Let me see if I can, can get it lined up there a little bit better. Okay. 
So now we're underneath the current. So instead of deflecting to the left, it should deflect to the right, because remember the field lines form circles around the conductor. So again, grab the switch, operate it. Ah, there we go. To the right. No, no, don't move the wire. Okay, and then one more time. To the right. Okay. And off again. Okay. So the effect is slight, right? We're cr clearly creating a magnetic field that is eh, on the order of what the Earth's magnetic field is, probably a little bit smaller in terms of its strength, its magnitude. And so we're only getting small deflections of the needle as the needle feels a torque to align with the total magnetic field that it's feeling. Now, there are some things we can do to intensify that field that is caused by our current, and in the next video, we'll do exactly that. See you then.